Let's see, Marina, what's got going on? Hi there, I'm Marina. You design vacation homes, right? Honestly, it's been a dream of mine to own a vacation home in this area, blurp. Blurp? She says blurp. All right, let's chat, blurp. Let's strike while the iron's hot, shall we? Thanks for your time, blurp. I think I'd like for my vacation home to look something like this. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh, okay. Table, stool, and a vase. All right. Hmm. I wonder what kind of stuff they're going to give us. I'm thinking, like, Atlantis. Like, I'm thinking, like, they have some of those, like, ruin arches and things like that. Can we build, like, an underwater, like, Atlantis, ruins paradise kind of what's the other thing like I, I don't know if they're going to give us the ruin arches and all but that would be awesome i don't know if that's going if they're going to give us that though would fit uh disney theme little mermaid very true exactly mm -hmm. like your concept all right next up is choose an island well clearly we're going to need something with a beach you can choose the same location you've already used for previous vacation homes. Oh, I'm aware. Don't worry. I just don't want to. <laughs> okay. So that one might not be bad. Like in Atlantis. Yeah. Like um, Atlantis. That's the city that's underwater, right? In my head, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of what, like, I think Atlantis is the city that's supposed to be underwater. I keep wanting to say, um... Pompeii, and I know that's wrong. That's a volcano one. So that's got potential. And I know we won't be able to do a lot with... If we have it all sand for her, I know we're not going to be able to do a lot with the outside, but I don't think that's a big deal, honestly. Oh! That one's surrounded by water. That one might be even better. Yes, very different. Exactly. Okay, that is the underwater one. That's what I thought. You can use the same ones to kick out the last person. No, no, that's what's awesome. Cece, you can build over like 400 homes in this. Like I could rebuild on here. It just gives us the same feature. It's not going to kick anyone else out. It just gives us the same features. Yeah, it's literally you can build a house for every single villager. That's why I'm saying we're going to be doing this on here for a long time. It's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. That one's not bad either. I kind of really like that short one down there. It's got some trees on it. Rock one's not bad. I'm kind of thinking this one. I think that's gonna work for her. Seems like a lovely spot. Can't we see it in person, Blurp? Got an excellent location. You need to see it in on yourself first. Best of luck. Let's go do it. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to use as many different islands as we can before we redo, but either way will work. Makes me so happy. I know. It, we're going to be able to build hundreds of houses. It's going to be great. So this is where I'll be vacationing, huh? It's like a dream come true. I can't wait to see the finished home. I'll leave you to it. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you too. 413 villagers, one house a day, lots of fun. Exactly. Uh, can we move them? That I'm not sure of. Uh, anyone who's further along might be able to answer that question. Yeah. Let's start with what they give us. I think the house is probably fine where it is, until unless they give us some really cool outside stuff. Uh, you can plant hybrid flowers. Except that I can't on the sand, I don't think. Beach chair with parasol. We're definitely going to need one of those. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a wave breaker. That would be fun to decorate with. Let's see. Oh, they give us some shells to decorate with out here, too. Oh, that's fun. We can put some shells along the edges. I love that. Shell music box. Shell lamps. Oh, that would be fun. Like, put those right at the edge of the dock. I 
think she'd do, she'd like a boat. I think boat would be pretty cool. Put a wave breaker right here. How close can we put these to the sides of the dock? What different color umbrellas can we get? Can we give her a pink umbrella? Ooh, we can change the color chairs. Oh, pink chairs, perfect. Ooh, I like the aqua umbrella. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. And I just put a couple shells all over the place. Yeah, we'll put one there. You're a fan of the pink with aqua? Yeah, I think it looks really cute. I like it. There we go. Put some shells out here. I like the blue shells. Now, if I remember correctly, there are different color yachts also. Yes, that's what I thought. Kind of like that one. I don't think she needs a logo, though. I don't think that's going to be her thing. Shame you can't put the yacht, like, in the water or on the dock or something. We'll just park it. That'll be her car. That's how she gets around. Anything else? That's going to... The shell bed is definitely going to be her bed inside. Yeah, see, they're not really giving us a lot in the way of... Ooh, beach ball. Very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not giving us a lot in the way of, um... That those, like, broken down arches like I was hoping. But that's okay. We might get it later. I'm not worried about that. Oh! Check this out. This was in my store the other day. This little bistro table. How cute is this? I'm thinking, because I mean, if she's out in the sand, that means that she's just kind of hanging out outside. So I'm thinking that she'd be fine with just some regular furniture out here too, not just that stuff. But I love that. I think that's really cute. And then I think, yeah, these will work well for that. One like right here, one. Gosh, I wish they would let us put the chairs closer. It drives me bonkers how much they make these us put those like so far away. It drives me bonkers. Oh, flamingo! Was there a flamingo? Where was the flamingo? Was that in here? Oh, look at the little flamingo floaty! Oh, I love that. Hold on, let's see. Oh, you could have a swan. You could. Oh. Oh, we gotta go with the peacock. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's fantastic. I love that. I love that so much. Access to the ruins on the other tabs if you want them. If I have access to them to begin with, though, that's the thing. I don't know if I've decorated any houses with them yet. That's what I'm gonna check. I don't... I don't think I do have, though. That'll be something, like, once we get them, we'll have to come back to it. I need it. Oh, that table. Isn't that awesome? I really do like it. Let's see, anything else that's standing out for outside? Could put the, could put the baobab tree outside. Uh, not seeing too much else. If <laughs> we could give her a little pl plastic pool, that'd be kind of silly. I think that this is a pretty good front yard again. We'll check the front yard again before we finish up. Yeah, nothing else is jumping out at me for the outside here. All right. Let's go inside. I really like that floaty. That's so freaking adorable. Oh, let's put this. No, don't let's sit on the chair. Scoot the chair over. That's much better. Okay. Can I not walk behind the chair in the boat, though? Hmm. I may have to fix that. She can't get to her floaty. That's not good. She needs that. No, we'll just get rid of it. Perfect. Now, yes. Beautiful. All right. Let's go inside. All right. 
Now, what kind of wallpaper are they giving us? I do look, see, I love that vase. The partition wall has been added to the other category. That's right, we have partition walls now. Yes, I'm so excited. Partition wall can only be used indoors and wall mounted items cannot be hung from them. Oh, that's interesting, I wonder why. All right, first things first. What are we getting for wallpapers? I mean, I feel like we have to use that wallpaper. She wants to be under the sea. We could go with the ocean horizon. That's kind of pretty. Let's leave that one for now and see, though. And then what are we given? What are we given for floors? Okay. Nah. Oh, the starry sand's kind of pretty. Let's leave the starry sand for now. I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. I think, yeah, I think that looks kind of nice. Uh, next thing's next. Let's go ahead and make the room a little bigger. Yeah. Let's go with an 8x8 for now. Oh, really? So much space needed for these. What kind of rugs are they giving us? Oh, a blue wavy rug. Oh, that's fun. So there are unique rugs for this. And bamboo. Seashell. Tropical rug. I'm not 100% sure why this is called a tropical rug. I'm not really feeling it, though. I like the seashell, though. I don't know if that's where that's going to stay, but we'll leave that there for now. Alright. Crab table. I feel like that's very nice. And then we'll do the shell bed. Ooh, the Pisces lamp. Yes, that'll be good. We'll give her a little bed in the corner. I kind of like the music box. I love that! That's so pretty. That needs its own table. Yeah, we're gonna have to lean more into the underwater theme right now. But as we start getting more items, we get those ancient ruined items. We'll come back here and we'll redo this house to be more Atlantis looking. Shower set? I mean, I guess. Oh, we can add extra fishes swimming all, all around. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the mounted Marlin. I feel like she wouldn't have that on her wall because that Marlin may have been her friend. But I think feel like some of these, at least it'll feel like they're like swimming around in her house, you know? This music box is gorgeous, right? Do we have a clock that works? I do like the idea of giving her a clock. Oh! We've got that shell wreath. That's very pretty. We should put that on the door outside as well. Maybe the cherry blossom clock? It's probably the closest clock we've got. And then light switch because you know me. There we go. Yeah, I think the flower clock's gonna be the closest one. Is there an octopus item? I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, I kinda like the pink and white one. There we go. Right above the door. Okay, what else do we have? Do we have anything else for the wall? Mm, not 
particularly... Wait! Isn't there a fish version of this mobile? Sheep? Ocean creatures! Yeah! That can go right above her bed. I love that. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, let's see. Not seeing anything else wall mounted that's really standing out to me. Because you wouldn't have too much on the walls, I don't think. What do we have for ceiling items? Do they give us anything new? No. <laughs> we can get the disco ball. Oh, a bird mobile. That's kind of fun. We can put seagulls on the ceiling. I kind of love that. I feel like we should put a couple seagulls on the ceiling. <laughs> I think that's awesome. All right, so put one here. Put one here. And do three, three seagulls. And they'll just be floating up above. There we go. But they all have to look like seagulls. Perfect. Okay. Uh, no, I think that's we're probably done with the wall. Let's go ahead and see what else we can put for her. For her different items. Alright, so we've got like a little bedroom set up. Oh, I went to put a couple more of these down. So we have those over by the tables. Okay. There we go. Uh, she needs some kind of kitchen area, I feel like. What kind of unique kitchen area would she have? Cooler box probably makes sense. Let's see. Seagull's under the water. Eh. This is just supposed to make her feel like she's under the water, so she is still going to have some items that would not be necessarily under the water. She's just supposed to have that ambiance. So, like, I'm thinking, like, she should still have a couch somewhere comfy. Somewhere comfy today. Glowing moss stool could be fun. I'm thinking the Nordic sofa, and then I think there's some shell pattern that we can put on it. Like, if we go with the white... And then, check that. Where? Ooh, something like that with like the hooks and all might be good. Let's see if there is actual seashells though, because I really thought there was. Pineapples could be fun. Oh! Ooh, those little tropical flowers could be fun too though. <laughs> little hula people. Alright, let's go with that, but let's just double check the other patterns. Sushi. Sushi's a little... <laughs> Sushi couch for Marita. That's a little, uh... I feel like that's a little morbid, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I kind of love it, but I also kind of feel like that's a little mean. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I love it, but it's terrible. Oh my gosh. The anchors. Anchors could be fun. <laughs> there's, there's a part of me. There's a part of me that kind of wants to do the sushi now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I see. All right. I like that one so far. Oh my gosh. You guys are so funny. I love it. I know what I need to build. <laughs> That's crazy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's see. Yeah, there really isn't any seashell pattern. I'm kind of surprised. That, that kind of looks like shells, but I think it's supposed to be more flowers. Yeah, that kind of surprises me. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead with these. Yeah. We'll go with that, and that will be her little couch. 
I'm thinking we'll put the couch up against the wall here, and it'll have a little table here that can have, like, a television or something on it. I kind of feel like this just needs to sit up here. I feel like it works really well on that table. We'll put the lamp next to the couch. Now, what kind of bookshelves... Because Marina, I know she's, like, living underwater right now, but I feel like she's also a reader. Horizontal organizer. That's kind of neat looking. I'm not feeling magazine rack. I'm feeling like an actual bookshelf. I just wish we had a smaller one that wasn't the wooden block one. I just... I don't know. It's just not my thing. It's not my thing, friends. I know we have the ability to put the walls and stuff in here, but I'm not really feeling it for this house. <gasps> she needs a bubble machine. As soon as you enter the house, you enter and bubbles. Yes. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> There we go. What do we want? I don't know what I want on top of there for her. I feel like the televisions are in here. Lots of food, like I said, we'll build her a small kitchen. Ooh, like little television, there we go. There's a little television in this corner. Let's give her a better color, though. Mm -hmm. Oh! Pink. Perfect. Okay. And we'll put the pile of books right here. And there, that will be how I'll get around the books, because I just, I really feel like she needs some books. Ah, yes. A book stand. That will look very elegant. No, let's stick with the base colors. I think that's fine. Okay, what kind of kitchen would work for in here? Since we can't go full Atlantis like I was hoping to do, we'll just kind of do this kind of vibe for now and then... Again, as we open up more items, we'll have the ability to actually make what we were initially thinking a reality. We should- oh wait, we should put some food on the table. The food was up near the top, right? Yes. Oh, afternoon tea set. That would be very nice. Table. I, in base game, I do, yes. I don't in DLC, but in base game, I do. Mm -hmm. I'm slowly working mm -hmm. on buying all the ones that we need for our castle. The bird ones could be nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty. Oh, yes. She's having just afternoon tea hanging out over here. I love that. I feel like we need something else in this corner over here. I didn't even make the house this much bigger. I'm sitting here like, all right, we need to we need to put a couple more things in here to fill the space. But I don't want to just kind of throw stuff in willy-nilly. Like, it's got to make sense. Let's give her a simple kitchen. Or... That's not too bad. Oh, I didn't mean to change the lighting. 
we do that kind of kitchen there. Then we can put a couple more seats. Where did those uh, fun seats go? I wonder what color we have for the Moroccan footrests. I feel like just put the shell stools over here. But I think you can make mm -hmm. these different colors. Ooh, the pearls are pretty. Oh, I like those. Yeah, the two different colors with the kitchen. That would work. And then what are we eating over there? We have so many different types of breads. I didn't even realize that. There's so many different bread baskets. <laughs> so many different types of bread baskets. That's awesome. Fruit topped pancakes. That sounds delicious. Perfect. Is there a little wrong to offer seafood pizza? <laughs> I just about as wrong as the sushi couch, but that doesn't mean I don't love it and kind of want to do it anyway. bad. She has her little sand area. She has a little area to watch television in over here. Here's her little dining room. We've got her kitchen over here. I feel like she needs a stove because I don't think this, does this have a stove in it? Oh, it kind of does. Unless it's a dishwasher. Do we have a stove yet? I honestly am not sure. No, we don't just have a regular stove. Like one of those like small corner ones. We don't have one of those in this yet. Well, gosh darn. Is it bad that I want to pull SpongeBob and just kind of put like a fire pit in here? Put another lamp. That could help. Oh. There's no room to put anything here. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Here we go. Put that in the corner. There we go, that gives us something. Makes it feel a little less empty. Octopi eat other fish. Hmm. So it's pretty fitting. I feel bad for the fish floating around her place, though, seeing her eat that eat their friends. That's the thing. All right. I feel a little. Yeah, I kind of think I like that there better. Again, once we get some more the archways and things like that, like I'm thinking, we'll have some more stuff in this space. I'm just not seeing anything else that's. Making me think that we need to have it. Oh, wait. That could work. That at least kind of sections off the rooms a bit. I like the green. I think the green adds a little more color. There we go. Not what I was hoping to build, but it's a good start. It's a good start. The shell partition. I know. Between the shell partition, some of those ancient ruins thing. Like, her house is going to end up being completely different when we come back here to redo this one. But. It's a good start. It is a good start. Again, it, that's the one thing that's really cool about this. Is the fact that we may be... We may be having to do only certain things right now, but we'll be able to come back and redo the house. And I love that. It really adds the replayability for this. 
Oh, you can build Bob a house. That'll be fun. Bob's pretty cool. Mike has Bob. Beautiful. I think it's pretty ready for you. Check it out, Marina. Really appreciate all the time and effort you put into this. You've made me so happy, Blurp. Looks like Maria was blowing bubbles. <laughs> I love it. I love her little octopus footprints. Your nose is in a wall there, Marina. I love my new vacation home. I can't stop admiring it. Feel free to hang out and relax a bit if you have time. Nah, I've got a, a date with a, uh, I have a date with a kangaroo and their nurse, or their, uh, daycare center they want to build. Hi there, this is Jess. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and check out my Twitch channel where these videos are happening live. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you know when we are off on our next adventure.